there was no great answer. It's just stupidity. Oh, okay. I, just, I mean, well, I, that's I, a good I, answer. I, I'm not going to sit here and defend it. I just. It's just ba ba boo wee, ba ba boo wee, ba ba boo, ba ba boo. Because he's such a yenta anyway. You think he'd bring it up? he uh, yeah. He's into everything. Everything that he's not into. I know you're going to be in the studio, and you're probably going to wonder, where's Robin? Well, I'll tell you. Not for nothing, but Robin is home today. She is resting. Yeah, that would be it. So just speak to Howard and pretend that Robin is in the studio with you. Right, yeah. <laughs> pretend so we don't have to, you know. You'll hear her, but you can't see You'll her. You'll hear her in your mind's eye. You can see her. <laughs> I, ha you... I have a riddle. What can you What can you hear, but you cannot see? <laughs> Robin Quiller. I always ask the riddle where I only know the answer. Mm. All right, Red Gypsy, thank you for the call. All right, thank you. Hey, Red Gypsy. Yes. You you want to win some money? I would love to win some money. I'm so fucking poor. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Baby. It's time for the thousand dollar cash giveaway. Oh my god. Exactly. He's gonna cry. Good. Oh yes, I will cry. I'll, oh baby, I'll cry. All right, this is brought to you by Don'tBeBroke.com. You've got a shot at $1,000, courtesy of Don'tBeBroke.com. If you could use some cash deposited right into your checking account, log on to Don'tBeBroke.com for details. Don'tBeBroke.com. Oh, my kid. All right. How do you Robin. win this $1,000? How do you win the $1,000 is a good question, Robin. Uh, we're playing the Bigfoot game. <laughs> Everybody loves this Bigfoot. This is a tough game. You know, Bigfoot's a backwoods kind of guy. You know, Bigfoot recently had his bout with scabies. Ugh. And silverfish were all over his body. I, I never even knew silverfish were. I never heard of people being infested with silverfish. That's why it's the Bigfoot game. <laughs> all right. Red Gypsy, yeah. let me just uh, refresh your memory here. I'll play you a practice round in case you haven't heard the Bigfoot game before. We've been playing it a lot. It ain't easy. All right, here we go. For example, we ask Bigfoot the following question. If you have one nickel and one penny, how much money do you have? All right. So five plus one is six is basically what we're asking him. You to. did that in your head. I'm so proud of you. No, no, no. I worked it on a paper. <laughs> I just do it quick. A nickel is five. You got to know that. All right, Red Gypsy, do you think... Now, this is a practice question. Don't get nervous. Okay. Will Bigfoot know that five plus one is six? I'm thinking money he'll know, and it's small money, which is all he knows, so I'm going to think yes. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to say no, but let's I see. I don't think so. This is practice. doesn't count. Let's see. Six uh, cents. Yep, you yes. do. And you would have been on the board. Right. You would have been on the board. Small money. Okay. Small money. Okay, so you seem to know Bigfoot. I'm trying. I'm going to give you I five questions, money. and out of the five, got to get three right. As soon as you hit three, you get the $1,000. Winner from Dumpybroke.com. Here we go. Who was the first president of the United States? Ah. Wow. Oh, Does he know this? Gypsy, do you know that? Um, I'm gonna say Washington. Mm -hmm. But you don't sound sure. Will he say Washington? Well, um, my mind is blown with Bigfoot knowing the president. Now this is not easy. I'm gonna say no. I gotta say maybe he does know this because after That's all drummed into your head. Oh, in in school they have poems about Washington and oh, He goes through the whole revolution thing and it's yeah. Washington, Washington, Washington. And then there's Washington DC, you know. All right, all right. All right. I will say yes. Oh, well, you we sure don't try to change your vote. Don't go with us. We don't no, know a thing. Well, I wasn't locked in, but I'm I'm gonna go. I like that logic. It's very rare like he gets. Logic two, applies. Very rare he gets two in a row right. But man, I don't know if you can apply logic to Bigfoot. Right. <laughs> he has scabies and silverfish. <laughs> All oh right, lock her in on a yes, Fred. She's changing her mind. Okay, here we go. Bigfoot, first president, United States. Bush. Bush. Uh, see. <laughs> don't listen to us. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. All right. Audience is laughing at you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Second question, Bigfoot game for $1,000. You know Bigfoot dollars. better than we do, obviously. That's right. $1,000 giveaway here from don'tbebroke.com. Here we go. The early bird catches the blank. 
The oh, early bird dear. catches. Do you know oh. the answer to that, Red Gypsy? That is the worm. The worm, you're right. Right again. And I'm definitely going no. All right, I'm that's going a no. Now. Yeah. All right, she's Locked definite. In. Fred, lock her in. No need to beat around the bush. Here we go. The early bird catches the... The, uh, the earlier one gets the worm. Whoa, oh, he got it right. Uh, Two wrong. Uh, now you've got to get three right in a row. You are down to the wire, Red Gypsy. Oh, I'm so poor and desperate. I need this so bad. Why are you so poor? You have no job? I have a shitty, non-paying job in a fucked-up money situation. And if I get, you know, rich and famous as the Red Gypsy, I'll be golden. But it's going to take me a little time. Apparently. Well, what do you mean you have a shitty, non-paying, have a non-paying job? job? What is that? A non- Why would you show up at a non-paying job? Because I have kids and a... a no, I'm saying it doesn't pay anything, your job? It, it, like, barely pays my life. What so. do you do? I'm a dispatcher. My day job is very mundane. Oh, so you get paid for that. It's okay, but, you know, I live outside of Philly. It ain't cheap to live here. All right, all right. Let's get back to the game and, and get away from the sob right. story. Yeah, boo-hoo. I, don't, I just want to win. Right, okay. Let's, let's get back to winning. Here we go. Who was the first man to land on the moon? Oh, boy. Do you even no know that? Way. No fucking way. Do you I know it? Neil, maybe Neil Armstrong, maybe. Right, that's a tough one. Neil Armstrong. No, thank you for giving me one. You'll definitely get wrong, and I'm saying hell no. All right, no way he's going to get this. Right? right, it's Armstrong, right, Fred? Absolutely. All right, here we go. Lock her in on a no. Here we go. Clinton? Great. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Bill Clinton. Right. Says that with no embarrassment. All right, you're on the board. Thank God. You got two more to get right. You got to get the next two right to win the $1,000. And you know the rules on don'tbebroke.com uh, laid this out. Only the person who really wins can win the money. Okay. All right, here we go. You got to win this. Okay. Beauty is in the eye of the blank. Oh, mm. geez. Never. You knew that early bird catches the worm. Now, Gypsy, you know the, wor- the word is beholder we're looking for. Absolutely no way he'll oh. ever have that one. Mm, sounds like you're right on that. But you never I'm know. Praying, he does. I'm right. Sometimes he gets things uh, right that you don't think. All right, Fred, lock her in on a no. Beauty is in the eye. We're looking for the beholder. Here we go. The beauty is in, in the mind of the beast. Thank whoa, you. Whoa, it sounded like he was almost coming up with it. I know. I, I almost myself. Oh, thank God it's the beast. Yes. And so, a Gypsy, Red Gypsy, you've got two right. You got two wrong. You're down to the final question. Oh, dear. I thought he was going to say beauty is in the eye of the silverfish. <laughs> but okay, here we go. One final question for $1,000 from don'tbebroke.com. Here we go. What number makes up blackjack? What number oh. makes up blackjack? Do you know that, Red Gypsy? That is 21. 21. And that's a fucking really hard one. Yes. Has he been to a casino? Would they let him in? With scabies and silverfish? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Wow. Can I just do six cents and have that count? <laughs> Shit. Oh, I really think you might know it. It's up to you, Red Gypsy. Oh, $1,000. Oh $1,000? I'm so desperate that that would like almost pay my rent one month. You could buy a okay. house. Uh, yeah, hey, I'll be a millionaire for a I, I think he knows it. I really think he's going to know it. <laughs> I mean, oh. oh no. <laughs> you might know 21. I'm just going with it. Okay? That's your instinct? I know, I'm just clearing my Fred. That's Well, you've got some instinct. <laughs> oh, my God. Can he possibly know 21, Robin? I don't think so. I don't, know I don't think this has become... I don't think this has ever come past him. Yeah, but we, we, we've been wrong. I mean, We've been wrong more than Red mm-hmm. Gypsy. Red Gypsy would have already won if she didn't listen to us on that first question. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. I'm just saying he's going to know it. Oh! <laughs> I'm not saying anything. (laughs) Not trying to influence you at all. You're saying he knows it? Oh, that's fine. We gotta find out. Is she locked in? Are you really going to say he knows it? What if he knows it and I say no? Then you have to give it to me. What? No, I don't. I can't. Well, you're trying to sway me, man. 
<laughs> All right, okay. Give me Bye. a final answer. <laughs> oh, I, I will say that he won't know it. He won't know it. That's but changing your mind. So you changed your I mind. Know. You're killing me. All right, he won't know it. Lock her in on a no. Can you? I think you're right on this. I don't see how he'll know, but okay, here we go. You changed your mind. You forced me. Shh. No, no didn't. forcing. Here we go. Here we go for the thousand dollars right here. If he says twenty-one, you lose. Oh dear. Twenty-one. Oh, oh my God! God. Why did you listen to us? I mean, every five-year-old knows blackjack is twenty. You lost. <laughs> Howard, you're just cruel now. Cruel? I didn't know the answer. <laughs> I told you my instinct was right. You oh, should have gone with your instinct. Why did you go with us? Because oh, you totally forced me. <laughs> no, we didn't. We're just telling you what we thought. Please give me one more. Oh, my God. Why would you That's listen to crazy. us? By the way, yeah. there isn't one more. That was the last question oh. of the game. Oh. oh. Right, please, please. Wait, let me check the rules here for a second. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. There's 17 oh pages of rules. Hold on, I'm reading through them. I'm a speed reader. I think it's on page 12. No, I don't, don't see it. Don't you remember when they had multiple choice tests in school? They always said, go with the first thing you think it is. I feel so bad for Red Gypsy. Oh, Howard, my kid. Page 12 of the rules is missing. Uh oh. That's the, one need. that's the one that really <laughs> says it all, you know, when you throw the bullshit. Because oh, um, I hate bullshit, man, and I'm so poor, I swear I need this money more than anyone that's ever called you. Gary, do you have a bonus anything to give her? I mean, a bonus type question on any kind of game? I could go to another game. Go but, to another, but, is that against the rules? I don't think so. I mean, we lost I page just checked. Gary, I don't have page I'm 12. I'm a fellow Pisces, man. Come on. Come through for me. I mean, I could grab another game of some sort, but but Jesus, you guys beat her out of my <laughs> <laughs> but we don't know. I know, yeah, but, but you go. We don't know any more than I guess said. if you're going to do that, I mean, geez. <laughs> well, I didn't know. You don't have to listen to me. That's what, I'm a game show host. But you're so great because Robin goes, well, you, you, you didn't, we didn't tell you to change your answer. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all you did. I really thought he wouldn't know 21. I didn't think he had a chance in hell of no, knowing. trying to, I wanted to see Red Gypsy win. And you know, from the first second, I was right, and I knew it. I knew he wow. was right. Damn it. That's good. Has this happened to you all your life that you know and you go along with whoever's? <laughs> yeah, you're such a loser. <laughs> no. You're, hey, you're in the losers. You're my king, so clearly I must be a loser like you. Well, and I'm all right with that. Gary, give her one question, and then, like, let's Please. wrap this up. i got to get yeah. to uh, Let me see what, I, yeah. what do you have Great. over there? Take a look. Hold on. Hey, Robin, by the way, I like that they cut the part out of you that stopped emasculating men, because I'm so happy you're back to that. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> That's true. We gave her an operation so she can go back to emasculate. We cut out that portion of her brain. <laughs> Thank God. That was we could ask Sal a question live if you want to play a game that way. The Sal game? All we got to do is whether she can bet whether Sal knows it or not, you know? Yeah. All right. Perfect. Because we don't want to run a game. All right. It's time to go into a bonus round. Evidently, I checked the rules and we can do that. Uh, Sal, come on in. We're going to ask you some questions since we don't have Bigfoot here. Here he is, Sal Gubinale. Pleasure to be here. i got to just think of a question for you. We could probably oh. ask him the same question you asked Bigfoot. <laughs> okay, here we go. Blackjack 24. <laughs> All right, Sal. Yes, sir. I don't want you to answer the question. I want you to I think about it. What are the 49th and 50th states? What are the 49th wow. and 50th? Don't say anything. Okay. Don't say easy. anything. All right, Red Gypsy. Do you think Sal knows what the 49th state is and the 50th state is? Don't Can say. Write it down or something so that we prove that he's right or wrong. And he doesn't just like make. Write it up. down, sure. Uh, Sal. Sure. Write it down. So, yeah, she's right. What difference does it make? Because he has to just give us his answer. Well, because what if he? What if she says he doesn't know it and then he? Like he fucks me he really, over. Or he? Or he cheats to help you, and then wants half the money. Well, we didn't ask her. He's not heard any uh, answers. He wrote it down. Give it to Fred to confirm. And give me back my pen. I see his answers. All right, good. So now you have to clean that pen off. Yeah. Probably put it in his ass. All right. Put it in my dick hole. What do you think? Do you think Sal knows the answer or not? Oh, my God. Oh, fuck me running, Sal. Um, I will. You sound hot. 
Yeah, no, I'm no Christine, but I'm gonna say, oh, Sal. I'm I feel pretty to... confident if, if if I may just. Why say are that. you talking? Okay. Okay, no, I'm just you're the worst. I'm, I'm gonna say that I think he knows. I'm gonna give Sal some credit. All right, I'm gonna mark that down as a yes. Fred, lock her lock in on a yes. In. This is for a thousand dollars. We gave her a bonus round with Sal Gubinelli. That's your final answer. And believe answer? me, we didn't That's try right. to influence you in any way. That's no. right. I kept my mouth shut and so did Rob. Fine. It's fair. All right, Sal. All right. She says you know it. What is the 49th and 50th state? Well, as you know, I'm not good at geography at all. Uh, but being on this show, I've, I've done some research, and I'm I'm pretty sure that it is Hawaii and Alaska. Well, there you go. Wow. <laughs> You've won one thousand dollars based on the high IQ of Sal Gubinelli. <laughs> ah, that's right. I'm smart. Uh, it's courtesy of uh, DontBeBroke.com. It if feels can, good to get something right on this show. You I'm the some, winner. You could use some cash deposited right into your checking account. That's what DontBeBroke.com can give you. Log on to DontBeBroke.com for details. DontBeBroke.com. Sal is dancing. He's happy. He's so happy. I'm, I'm not that dumb, All right. Take care. All right, Sal. Thank you. Way to, way to go and know what every first grader knows. <laughs> All, right. All right. Good for you. All right. And you, Red Gypsy, stay on the line, okay?